Hello. Welcome to our first story time of March. Can you believe that? It's already March. Hopefully soon our snow will start melting and then we'll have muddy, a muddy mess. But I'm hoping we'll be able to be together for story time, maybe at the park, the beach, maybe just in the library parking lot. It'll be fun to see everybody's smiling faces again instead of just seeing me on Zoom, right? All right, let's see. I'm going to switch to our other camera so you guys can see the book. We're talking about polar bears and Arctic animals today. Polar bears of animals of the polar region. This is the first book about. This is a Garth Stevens publishing book. Sure, our camera's working here. You can see the pages, there we go. The penguin is not afraid of the cold. The beluga whales like to play in the water. These are all animals that live in the Arctic. <gasps> there it is. The polar bears work walking on an ice floe. Polar bears like to travel from ice to ice where they do their fishing. Oh, do you know what this is? This is an animal that doesn't live on the earth anymore. The prehistoric mammoth shows its two long tusks. These are tusks. Elephants have them. Walruses have them too. But this woolly mammoth, it doesn't live here anymore. We don't have them. A snow leopard is watching the snowflakes fall. And it looks like there's an elk back here. The musk ox is wearing its warm fur coat. Look, there's caribou. He has a heavy thick coat on to keep him warm. Because remember they live in the Arctic where it's really cold and really snowy. There's an Arctic fox. That fox loves the winter. Oh, there's a little cardinal there. I'm not sure cardinals actually live in the north, do they? I know we have them here. They like to be on my bird feeder. This is a short, short book about animals that live in the polar regions. Do you know where that is? Let's do one more book and then I'll see if I can get the slideshow on there. We'll talk about some animals. The Snow Bear. This book is a scholastic book. It's written by Miriam Moss and illustrated by Maggie Keene. The Snow Bear. See if I can move the camera down just a little bit so you can get a better picture. How's that? Is that better? In the silent forest is a clearing where the soft snow flakes fall. But listen, there's a padding and a pouncing and a snowdrift that shivers. A little white bear bursts into the clearing. He looks left. He looks right, he looks high, he looks low. He's looking for his mother. Mother, where are you? Calls the little white bear. He waits and waits, but she does not come. I will make a snow mother, he whispers, to keep me company while I wait. The little white bear sweeps snow into a mother's shape. <gasps> but listen, there's snuffling and swishing and a deep crunch of snow. Musk ox shakes his shaggy coat. Let me help, he says. And he heaves a heavy mound of snow with his strong shoulder. There's a stirring and a whirling and a soft snowy landing. 
Snow Goose smooths her fine feathers. Let me help, she says. And she pats down the snow with her wide webbed feet. Look at that big ball of snow they have so far. They're splintering and splashing, coming from the icy lake. Moose nuzzles the little white cub with his velvet muzzle. Let me help, he says. And he shovels more snow with his sweeping antlers. They're making a big mound of snow back there. They're skidding and sliding in the sounds of claws on ice. Fox twitches her frisky whiskers. Let me help, she says. And she shapes the feet with her quick curved claws. There's panting and pawing and a lot of tail wagging. Wolf sniffs the air with his long sharp nose. Let me help, he says. And he brushes in the fur marks with his big bushy tail. All those animals are helping the baby. There's hopping and stopping and two long airs flopping. Hair stares with dark liquid eyes. Let me help, she says. And she draws the face with her neat, narrow paws. Bear, hair, and wolf, snow goose and moose, musk ox and fox, Finish the snow bear just as the sun sets and the world is brushed gold. But listen. In the forest, their mothers call them home, all except for little white bears. Goodbye, he says sadly as they disappear into the dusk. Thank you for your help. Look, there's a snow bear. Darkness settles over the clearing and the little white cub snuggles up against the snow bear, wishing it were already morning. As he sleeps, warm winds blow in from the south and soften the snow. Slowly, very slowly, the snow bear melts into the green of the forest. Oh no, he's losing his mama snow bear. But listen, as dawn breaks, who comes sniffing and searching through the trees? You think it's his mom? <gasps> There's her baby sleeping. In the clearing, a new day begins. A familiar scent wakens the little white bear. He blinks sleepily. Oh, it's you, he murmurs, moving closer to his mother's side. I knew you would find me. That's a great book about your friends helping you out. You know what, I think we'll do this one and then end with a felt story. And I will save the slides for another day. Over in the Arctic where the cold wind blows by Marion Burt and illustrations are by Jill Dubin. This is one of my favorite books. This is a Dawn publication book. I love this book because of the pictures. Over in the Arctic where the cold wind water runs lives a mother polar bear and a little cub one. Roll, said the mother. I roll, said the one. And they rolled on the ice where the cold water runs. Remember we talked about that. Polar bears like the cold, the ice and the water. They like to swim. Over in the Arctic, hopping like a kangaroo, lived a mother Arctic hare and her leverets too. That's what you call babies. 
Thump, said the mother. We thump, said the two. So they thumped on the tundra, hopping like a kangaroo. Over in the Arctic, paddling in the icy sea, lived an old mother walrus and her little calves three. Kick, said the mother. We kick, said the three. So they kicked with their flippers, paddling in the sea. Over in the Arctic, curled up on a frosty floor, lived a mother Arctic fox and her little kits, four. Hide, said the mother. We hide, said the four. So they hid and they waited, curled up on the frosty floor. <gasps> Over in the Arctic, where they dipped and they dived, lived, lived a white mother whale and her little calves, five. Click, said the mother. We click, said the five. So they clicked and they whistled where they dipped and they dived. Whales do make a clicking sound. Can you click? You do it with your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Try it, can you do it? Over in the Arctic, where the cold waters mix, lived a furry mother sail and her little pup six. Breathe, said the mother. We breathe, said the six. So they came up for air where the cold waters mix. Look at those seals. They're funny to watch. Oh, what's that? Have you ever seen that? Over in the Arctic, gliding up towards the heavens, lived a mother snowy owl and her little owlets seven. Swoop, said the mother. We swoop, said the seven. So they swooped as they flew, gliding up towards the heavens. Over in the Arctic, where some creatures migrate, lived a mother snow goose and her little goslins eight. Honk, said the mother. Honk, honk, honk. We honk, said the eight. So they honked and they flew south where some creatures migrate. Do you know what that word means, migrate? It means they move from one place to the other. Over in the Arctic, where the sun didn't shine, lived a mother wolverine and her little kits nine. Growl, said the mother. We growl, said the nine. So they growled and they grumbled, where the sun didn't shine. They have a lot of dark weather there, a lot of nighttime weather. The sun doesn't come up and go down as fast as ours does. Over in the Arctic in a deep dark den lived an old father wolf and her li his little pups 10. Howl, said the father. Oh, we howl, said the 10. So they howled in a pack from their deep dark den. Oh, can you be a wolf? How? Over in the Arctic where the cold winds blow, Arctic animals are living in the water in the snow. Name us, said the animals, from 10 to the one. Then go back and start over because this rhyme isn't done. Over in the Arctic, you can spy with your eyes, find more Arctic creatures. Every page has a surprise. Do you remember the animals? There was a polar bear and a hare and a walrus, an Arctic fox. There was some beluga whales. There were seals, snowy owls, snow geese. What's that one called? We don't have that around here. That's a wolverine. And do you remember the last one? No, a wolf. And look, there's other animals that live in the Arctic. An ermine, a lynx, a narwhal. Have you ever seen that? It's a special, the, this whale has a special long, spiky, pointed 
Not sure what it is. Nose, I guess. They use that for hunting. The ptarmigan, the Arctic tern, a lemon, ground squirrel. And that's not a lemon like you eat, but it's a lemon. It's an animal. A doll sheep, caribou, and a musk ox. This is a wonderful book. Let's um, let's do one more book, but I'm going to tell it to you as a felt story. All right. Do you know this book? Polar Bear, Polar Bear. What do you hear? I'll read the words, but you will see that as a felt story. Polar Bear, Polar Bear. What do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a, uh, what's that, do you know? A hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? Do you know this book? What's that animal? A flamingo. I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, 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 what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? Oh, I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Are you making these animal sounds at home? Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? Oh, I hear a, uh, do you know what that is? These birds are so pretty when they spread out their tails. I hear a peacock yelping in my ear and peacocks are really, really loud. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whispering in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear some children. What are the children doing? They're growling like a polar bear. They're roaring like a lion. They're snorting like a hippopotamus. They're braying like a zebra. They're fluting like a flamingo. They're hissing like a boa constrictor. They're trumpeting like an elephant. They're snarling like a leopard. They're yelping like a peacock and they're bellowing like a walrus. That's a wonderful book to do as a felt story, isn't it? I'm gonna switch our camera so you can see, there we go. I guess it's called a desk story, right? Instead of a felt story, because I'm not doing it on a felt board. I'm just showing it to you on my desk. But that was a nice way to end. So I will see you next week, hopefully on um, Zoom or on these pre recorded story times for the Sandown Public Library. Again, I'm Trisha. Thanks for joining me. Um, have a good week. Bye, guys.